want to show you a few Qigong hand movements that you can do. And you can do them anytime. You can be sitting watching TV doing them. And uh, they're really unique. I'll just show you three of them. There's many, many forms of it, but I'll show you three of them right now. One of them is open your hands like this and see the bottom part of your hand? We're going to tap it together like that. Just tap it. You want to work up to 60 of them. So if you tap fast, you'll get 60 in real quick. This one's good for your heart. It's a real good one to strengthen the heart. Just tap. I'm not going to do 60, but just to give you an idea how fast you can go. Okay, got that in mind? So tap it at the bottom of your hands. The other one is your fingers in the locking like this. And then we're going to go like this. Now, if you have big rings, long fingernails, you want to be careful because you can scratch your, scratch your fingers and it can be hard to get your hands in there. So you may have to talk, take your rings off and be very careful. But doing this, you have pressure points in the bottom of your fingers here, all along here, and it activates all those pressure points. It's a real good one. It's like a church steeple, except your hands are going between each other. So give that a try. Again, you can be sitting watching TV doing these things. How many should you do? 60 of them. You work up to 60. The last one I'm going to show you is take your right palm, take your left fist, and punch it. Just keep hitting it like that. You want to work up to 60. And you go faster like this. Then you switch palms, go to the other side. Like that. That strengthens a lot of internal organs your spleen, heart, liver, things like that, because your pressure points on your hand, you're activating all those pressure points. Here's your ankle bone right here. Go about four fingers, and right in here, there's a pressure point, sorry, SP6, that's liver, spleen, and kidney. Massage that point. It may feel sore for a lot of you, and if it does, it's okay. Just, just little circles, massage it. And it's on both legs, on the inside. About four fingers up from your bone. It's a real good one. Okay? All right. But I'm going to try and save time at the end to do some Tai Chi gum. The Tai Chi gum is a combination of some of these movements that we're going to put together. Let's start with Qi gum. Palms open like this. As you breathe in, straighten the legs up and your hands come to here. As you exhale, you sink. As you inhale, you straighten up. As you exhale, you sink. Turn the palms over, breathe in, straighten up. Exhale, sink. Another set. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in and out. Are you starting to get the idea of this? Palms up. I'll do one more set. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. And breathe in. And out. Good. Alright, next one, tree swing. Put your legs out a little wider if you can. Again, listen to your body. Watch your balance. And uh, just kind of have fun with it. Shift to the left leg. This hand on top, this hand out here. Shift to the other side. You breathe in. You hold the breath here. Exhale. It's called tree swaying. The wind's blowing you from one side to the other. Face each other. We bring it up to the chest. 
push the left hand up, push the right hand down. Notice my palm is flat up above and flat down below. Now breathe in slow and the two hands pass each other. And then exhale, stretch. This works your liver, spleen, and your vertebrae in the back. I'm told if you do this every day, you can gain up to an inch or two inches. See, I used to be 4'10", I'm now 5'10". And stretch. Breathe in. And stretch. This is also a good one to do in the morning. I traced this particular move back and I only could go back 3,500 years on this particular movement. But I've also been told that some of these movements go back 40,000 years. They found them in caves on petroglyphs with these movements. So Qigong is a pretty old exercise. It's been around a long time. And stretch. Breathing in. Stretch. I'll do one more set. Now both hands come to the chest and softly come down. Thanks. What I'm doing is taking you through different parts of your body that you're moving and exercising. And uh, so we're going to work the leg part now. So we're going to just bend down. Pick up a ball of energy, lift the ball up over the head, exhale, nice and easy, don't rush through it, slight pause here, then squat again, breathe it in, exhale, again, come up to the chest. Step 10 o'clock. Both hands float out slow. They open in two small circles coming back. It's called calming the waters of your heart. Your exhale as you go forward. Inhale and coming back. I hope you all have been practicing these during the week. bring my hands to a rest here. Now the hands float up to the chest. Step two. And my hands are about chest height. They're not up higher than that. And they're not much lower than speed right now. Now I'm going to do a couple of real slower speed just to give you an idea what it's like. And now bring my leg in. Hands rest on the table. Feet are about shoulder width, a little wider if you want. Hold the ball in your hand. So your left hand is on top, right hand is on the bottom. So just remember this, when you go to the left, the left hand's on top. When you go to the right, the right hand's on top. So my knees are relaxed. All I'm going to do is shift to the left. Once the weight's there, I just gently roll the ball over and glide to the right. 
I don't let my arms get ahead of my body. My body is pulling the arms along. Roll the ball and shift. There's just a slight turn in the waist right here. Not a lot. Just a little turn. You'll see this move later on in the class when I'm going to combine it. So you breathe one side, you exhale the other. Just natural breathing. When you do this enough, you'll feel the energy build between your hands. It gets very powerful. I don't know if I can do this with you now without seeing you, but I'll give it a try. So when I get to the left side, I'm going to bring it back to the middle and pause here. If you want, close your eyes and just pulsate the ball and see if you can feel between the hands, almost like a sponge or a magnet. Now make the hands go side to side and pulsate it. And you can almost pulse it and feel the energy get way out here. And bring that leg back. Now I'm going to slow it down. Typically when I do these on my own, I go slower. And now I'm going to bring my leg in. Hands come down. Parting a horse's mane. Turn your left palm up by your belly button. Put your right hand on top. Step 10 o'clock. Slide this left hand about shoulder height up and the right hand facing down. Again, my arm's not straight out. There's a slight bend in the arm. I just rock back and pull this hand back. Let's just slide it up again. This is just a good practice run for this. Now bring your leg in, and the hands come down. Turn your right palm up, left palm on top. Step two o'clock. Slide the other hand up. Guardian Horse's name. These names are amazing. They come with the program. And bring your leg in. A little variation to it. Palm up by your belly button, right palm on top. I'm going to move back here. So you're going to add a little variation to it. Step out 10 o'clock. Hand comes up. As I rock forward, I'm going to step out 2 o'clock, switch to the other side. As I rock forward, step out 10, switch. I have to watch my space here. I'll do one more with the right. Push. Bring your leg in and down. Now the next one we'll do is waves of the universe. Push the hands towards the floor and unhinge the wrists like this. Push it down.
snake sticks out its tongue. Put your left palm out like this, right hand underneath. Turn it over, make a fist, circle around that hand, and you punch upside down. The hands open up, the hands come down, and the right arm goes out at an angle. Turn it over, make a fist, circle, and punch. Hands come up, I'm going to step with the left leg. As the hands come down, bring the right foot into a T, left hand out. Did I do that one too fast for you? Turn the hand over, slow, and punch. I'll go slower here, the hands open up, step with the right leg, bring the left foot into a T, and the right hand goes out in the snake's tongue. Turn it over, make a fist, circle, punch. I'll do another one. The hands come up, step with the left leg, bring the right leg into a T, left hand goes out. Turn it over, make a fist, circle, punch. Hands open, step with the right leg, the left foot comes into a T. Turn it over, make a fist, circle, punch. You think you got the idea of that? Now hang in there with me. Hit the tiger. The hands come up. Step. Bring the right leg in and cross your heart. Step with the left leg to the side. Hit the tiger. Double fist hitting the tiger. Fists open up. Leg comes back in. Step to the right. Hit the tiger. So the one fist is about head high. The other is about my chest. It's almost as if an animal is coming at you. What do you do? You put your hands up to protect yourself. Same principle. And the hands come in. I'll do another one so you can see it. Step to the left. Hit the tiger. Hands come up. Come down. Step to the right. Hit the tiger. Hands come up. And the hands come down. Okay? Feel the energy. Turn your left palm by your belly button. Put your right hand out here. Now this hand is not up here and it's not way down here. It's right about in the middle. Right about coming across the midsection of your body. I step with the left leg to the side. Knees are relaxed and I float this hand across. I switch the palms, float this hand across. Now the hand that's floating is facing down. The other hand by the belly button is facing up. That's combining your yin and yang. Feeling the energy. Just get the feel of this, because I'm going to take you into another move from here. See how it feels for you. Now when I get to the left side, this hand will come up like this. I push across. Other hand comes up, push across. This hand comes up, push across. Once I'm here, I step 10 o'clock, switch the hands. I'm going to go into a move called grasp the bird's tail. I push the hand out. This palm faces up, this palm's on top without touching, and I just pull back past my hip, and I push again. Pull back past the hip. Push again. Past the hip. Now this time I'm going to push forward. I'm going to step two o'clock and switch the hands and push. And pull back. And push. Pull back. So basically, on your right shoulder, your one hand is facing the other like a T. Turn it this way, and you're going to push it out this way, 
make it this and pull back and down. So I'll start it with the legs. We'll start this way. Make a fist. Step out with the left leg. Push to your left. The left hand is a shield. The right hand, you make a fist. Pull it straight across. And then release. Now on the left side, touch and push. A shield with the right hand, a fist with the left. Pull it straight across. And release. Touch again on the right side and push. Make a fist, pull. Release. And push. Pull. And do another set. Push. Make a fist. Make a crane hook. All you're doing is taking your fingers and your thumb, touching your thumb with all your fingers. That's what you're doing. Do is single whip. I'm like this. This hand's going to float up as this hand moves out. Step out this way. That's a single whip. Both arms are slightly bent. This hand is like a block, and this hand is back here. Just rock back. here. Let it float out to here. The other hand comes up to the chest. Step out the other leg. Single whip to the right. Rock back. Again. If you notice both my arms are not like this. They're relaxed. I'm lower in my stance and just rock back. Rock forward. Rock back. I'll do another one. Rock forward and back. Bring your leg in, and the hands come down. We're going to go into Tai Chi Gong. Um, we're going to start like this, feet together, and the salutation is going to be a fist under your hand. And it's a slight bow. And the hands come down. Once they come down, I step with the left leg to the side. The hands float up. As the hands sink down, I shift to the right side. The arms open up. As the arms come into my chest, I step 10 o'clock. And I push gently forward. Calm in the waters of your heart. I'll just do two of these. Once I did two of them, as I go forward, I'm going to step two o'clock and shift to the other side. Now, I don't know how much room you have where you're doing this, but if you have to move back, you can move back. As I go forward, I'm going to bring my left leg up parallel and form a ball. And as I'm doing it, I'm going to step back a little so I have room. Get to the right side, I'm going to take my left foot and step out 10 o'clock, roll the ball over and rock it forward. Remember we did this in the Qigong series. As I rock back, I'm going to bring that left leg back parallel and step 2 o'clock. As I go forward, I'm going to bring my left foot up parallel. Once I get here, I step 10 o'clock and part the horse's mane. Remember, this hand is up, this hand's by the hip. 
I just rock back. As I rock forward, I'm going to step out two o'clock, switch the hands the other side. Now hold that position. If you have to move back, move back. I'm going to move back a little. Rock back. As I rock forward, I bring my left leg up and form the ball again. I step forward with the left leg and push down, waves of the universe. Hands go halfway up. They glide to the left or right. Step with the left leg, float across. The arms come all the way into my chest and I step forward with the right leg, push down. Hands go halfway up. They glide to the left. Right leg to the side. The arms float across, come down at an angle. Left foot comes into a T. The right palm opens. I step out. Snake's tongue. Here's that foot coming in and this hand going out. Turn it over. Make a fist. Punch. Hands open. Step. Bring the left foot into a T and the right hand goes out. Turn over, make a fist, circle, punch. Hands open, step. Bring your right leg in and cross your heart. We're going to hit the tiger now. Step with the left leg to the side. Double fist, hit the tiger. The fists open up. The leg comes in. Step to the right, hit the tiger. Fist opens up. Turn the left palm by the belly button. Right hand here, float the hand across. The left hand comes up, push across your face. I'm moving back a little more. Once I get here, I step 10 o'clock and push. I grasp the bird's tail. As I push this time, I step 2 o'clock, other side. As I push, I bring this left leg up, float the hand across. Both hands will touch, and I push. Make a fist with the right hand and pull the string. Release, hands come down. Touch again. Pull the string. Again, push. Push, make a crane hook with that, a fist with this hand, a crane hook follows, release the fist. As my hand comes down like this, I step out in a single whip. Unfortunately, that's about all the time I'm going to have for it. I bring that leg in, and I'll move back a little here. Lotus flower closing. Palms open, breathe in. Hands come together, exhale to the chest. Open into the lotus flower, the flower of beauty, strength, and purity. Inhale, and as you exhale, close the flower into two fists. Breathe in and push it out to the universe. As you exhale, open, let it go. Come back into prayerful pose. The left leg comes in. I honor you all. Namaste and blessings.